I'm Kira Bate with your Celebrity Slice in 60 Seconds. Hey guys, this is Kira Bate with Rev Your Engine informing you about everything automotive. I am here at Playa del Rey showing you the best places to visit, eat, and stroll. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Kira Bate with AMC Movie News. Now that The Avengers has surpassed its coveted $1 billion box office sales mark, Robert Downey Jr. is reportedly going to make at least $50 million. While Mark Ruffalo, Jeremy Renner, Chris Hemsworth, and Chris Evans will make two to three million. No wonder why Captain America wants to kick Iron Man's ass. I'm about to take you on the set of Will Ferrell's new movie, Dogfight. It's about two politicians going head to head. This should be entertaining. And I can't imagine anything more fun than to travel to pet friendly destinations and meet new people and their furry friends and maybe even another pet bird or two. Hey guys, this is Kira Bate and I am here at Gameplay with Walter. What's up? Hey, I'm alright. Out. Just hanging out. We're playing video games today and we are going to talk about the newest Resident Evil. What do you have to say about it? It seems like it's going to be an awesome game. It's taking us back to Resident Evil 2. You get to play as uh, the Umbrella Corporation, a new twist of the game. It seems like it's going to be pretty awesome. On my Facebook, I used to say I worked at the Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> is that funny or is that not funny? Seems like it would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> and so who's your favorite character? Leon. Leon. Yeah, my favorite. You know what was my favorite is the little guy that was like, well, hello. Do you know what I'm talking about from a long time ago? Ooh, hello, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, yes, no, no. He knows my, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Comic-Con dressed like that guy. That Can awesome. you see that? Can you guys see that? Okay, now we're going to go play some video games. Check it out. Hitting the number three spot its opening week with 15 million is Rock of Ages by Warner Brothers. Now this is the sixth highest opening for a musical. Staying in second place in its second week is Prometheus starring Numi Rapace, Charlize Theron, Michael Fassbender and Idris Elba. They brought in 20 million this weekend dropping 60.4%. Although this is still one of the highest grossing films for an alien franchise bringing in 88.8 .8 million so far. Staying at number one is Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. They were able to bring in 35.5 million its sophomore week, with also 120.5 million in its 10 day total. So, what did we learn during this box office report? That people would rather watch cute talking animals over aliens, fighting princesses, and people with bad 80s hairdos. Just when you think he's finally made it back to reality, Robert Downey Jr. names his baby boy Exton. But we doubt Exton will have any trouble fitting in amongst his Hollywood peers. In fact, Suri Cruz is hosting the first Weird Celebrity Baby Name Club meeting tonight. Coming up next, a countdown of sci-fi's sexiest women. Zachary Levi should be hitting the big screen in Thor 2 for the recast role of Fandral. This is due to Josh Dallas having scheduling conflicts on his ABC TV show Once Upon a Time. Hey AMC fans, I'm Kira Bate with AMC Movie News. Now I know that you guys are as, as geared up and as excited as we are to watch The Dark Knight Rises coming out at AMC theaters everywhere starting July 20th. But The Dark Knight Rises is kind of an end of an era because this is going to be the final Batman film Christopher Nolan makes to complete a trilogy. So then it got us to thinking, who could possibly direct future Batman films? Thanks for watching Hollywood Headlines. I'm Kira Bate, always keeping you in the know. I'm Kira Bate, thanks again for watching Rev Your Engine. Tune in next week.